Hi, my name is Rick Homan. I'm with HP, and we're here at the HP booth at SIGGRAPH 2024. We're super proud to introduce a brand new peripheral device used for capturing materials. It, you can take any type of material, place it in this device, and it will create the 3D digital files necessary to apply that to a model in all sorts of applications for all different industries. Um, we're, we're excited to have Adobe here as our partner. They're the first company to um, implement the SDK that we've created that talks to this device, and they've been able to uh, add that SDK uh, functionality into Adobe Substance Sampler for creating these materials and then exporting them to the world. So the device has got a, a single camera in it with multiple lights that light up in different combinations and orientations, and it's able to produce the four important files necessary for producing the digital materials. So I want to introduce you to Wes, Wes from Adobe here. So Wes uh, is going to tell you a little bit about the substance end of the product. Uh, thank you, Rick. Yep. Uh, so as Rick said, I'm Wes McDermott. I work for Adobe. I'm on the Substance 3D team. And uh, it's been amazing partnering with you guys on this product. So we're using, as you said, Rick, Substance 3D Sampler, uh, which is our tool for being able to create physically based materials. So we're taking uh, the data that's coming out of the Captus. Uh, it pulls over right here into Substance Sampler. And then using Sampler's tools, you're able to clean and process the texture data to create a physically based material. And one of the best things about Substance is that once you have your material, you can send it anywhere. It can be used in any 3D application or 3D renderer you're using. So for example, here on the show floor, we're showing one of our new uh, tools we call Substance Connector, which would take the material that's coming right from Captus. We have it, I've done a little bit of work on it. It's kind of clean and processed. And then I can export it with a single click of a button. For example, connecting it to Maya, uh, Unreal Engine, or Blender. Those are the three that we're supporting just kind of right off the top of the show, more to come. Uh, but yeah, that's it, that's Substance Sampler. And uh, yeah, Rick, it's been amazing to see all the demos and uh, how the uh, hardware and the software is kind of coming together to really help uh, users produce um, you know, quick quality results and have their entire digit digitization, if that's even a word, uh, <laughs> their whole entire workflow set and ready to go. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and I think the response has been pretty positive. We've had a lot, a lot of interest in this device. A lot of people see this as an important part of making their projects look much more realistic for their online catalogs, for example. You can shoot tons of materials and then apply them to your models and build out your catalog or your virtual production stage, make, their, make your environments look super realistic with actual materials from the scenes where your videos were shot. So one, I can show you right now, Wes has a material up on in Substance Sampler and I can show you, this, this is the material here in the device. If you bring that in, you can see inside the device here, We've got some tech areas that allow for calibration of the device, and then you just take your sample, place it in here, and then you can start the process. It'll take about seven to eight minutes to do an 8K um, scan of this material. And then ends up in substance, and you produce, what is it, the four different uh, maps, basically. You get a normal map, um, yeah, we the can height see map, here. opacity, and the albedo, the color. There you go. Wes is flipping through them. And so just using Substance Sampler's tools, we have uh, a layer stack, it's pretty easy to work with. If you click uh, the Add Layer button, we have tons of filters uh, that you can just apply to your layer stack that again, just help you kind of clean and process. So one of the things that you need to do is, uh, you know, having seamless, tileable materials. You can do that pretty quick here in Substance Sampler. You can also uh, change color, make all kinds of adjust adjustments, and even add procedural effects on top of that. Uh, one of the true powers of Substance is that once you have set up a filter, let's say for example, uh, we did the scan and I wanna uh, add a layer that we call colorize or color replace. I can expose that color parameter, which means that if I take this into a 3D program, like say I'm sending this over to Unreal Engine, using the Substance plugin, the color value that I exposed here, I can then change that. So what you end up getting with Substance is the ability to create have loads of variation because you're able to you know, bake that into the material process, uh, which also just helps your entire workflow just to be more scalable uh, with all the digital materials that you're creating. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great combination here to get things working. Right, so this product is available now. Just go to the HP website, hp.com slash captus and you can find out all the information about purchasing one of these for yourself.